I need to ask you guys an important question. Would you sell or keep Thomas Partey? Let me know what you guys think. Ponder on that question as I get the intro started. Yes, ETS people, we're back again with another video on Egal Talks Football. Today, what we're going to be talking about is, would you sell or keep Thomas Partey? Let me know in the comment section, would you sell or keep him at Arsenal? And that means, would you sell or keep him in January? Because some people would keep him until summer, some people would sell him in January, and some people would just keep him all full route. Now, if you guys don't know, how old is Thomas Partey? Thomas Partey is 30 years old. His contract runs out in 2025. So his contract runs out not now. But in June of 2025, we are currently still, if I'm not mistaken, we still got a lot of time left in, in that contract. But hey, that means time's ticking on if we're going to sell him and sell him for a decent value. He is a player who gets injured quite often, though. So we have to talk about his injury history first. And I think that's a good place to start. So let's look at his injury history. Thomas Partey, since being at Arsenal, has been injured nine times and has missed a total of 30, uh, uh, 63 games for Arsenal and Ghana. That is a lot of time missed for injuries. And as you can see, he's continuously picking up similar hamstring injuries as of late. Groin injuries, knock, thigh injury. Since when does a knock take you out for 112 days? That is insane the amount of time that he missed for a knock but to say the least Mr. Thomas Partey is a quality player when available and playing he is probably one of the best players in the Premier League last couple of seasons and one of the best defensive midfielders in world football of the last couple of seasons Thomas Partey has been a cornerstone to Mikel Arteta's arsenal and whenever he gets injured arsenal have felt the full brunt of that injury and the time that he has missed to the point where some people have maybe even not liked the fact that Thomas Partey is always injured to the point where they just want to get rid of him. So I want to know what you guys think. Personally, for me, I would sell Thomas Partey. And here's why. He is 30 years old. We are not going to be giving him a new contract or else we would have started conversations with a new contract. We were looking to sell him, but we didn't get an adequate bid in last summer. So that tells me that the club are open to sell Thomas Partey. I do think if we weren't interested in selling Thomas Partey, we would have already made it clear that we don't want to move him and he's going to be staying for the foreseeable future. But the fact that he was injured this long this season so far, and he's missed so many games so far this season, like guys, this season alone, he has already missed how many games? 18 games. In 2023-2024 season, he's missed 18 games for Arsenal. Guys, it's a joke. Thomas Partey, at this moment in time, is more of a liability with the amount of time that he's missed than, than anything else. If he's going to continuously be injured or away from the team, he's a detriment. He's one of the highest paid players of this club. And he's and he's not even kicked too many to kick the ball too many times a season. Although he was impactful in the win versus Manchester City, it just goes to show you how good of a player he is and how good he could be. But the fact that he's continuously injured, will he be a benefit to us down this stretch of the season? 100% if fit. Do we know he'll be fit? It's a flip of a coin. Would you do a flip of a coin on an impactful, uh, an important piece to your team? Or would you potentially move them on and get an adequate replacement in now that you know what can consistently uh, be there for you? The thing is, we're taking a risk no matter what. In football, you're always taking a risk. Imagine we sell Thomas Partey and he stays fit at his next club. We're going to regret it. But in the same breath, imagine if he stays and what consistently has been happening continues to happen. We go based off probability. The thing is, Thomas Partey, since he's been here, he's been injured nine times. Probability says he's going to get injured again. If we sign another player who doesn't have as bad as the injury history, they could also get injury, but they could also get injured, but that's bad luck. The reality is, the, more, the, li the likelihood is you get a player who doesn't get as many injuries and you bring them in, they're not going to get injured as much. And they could probably help us out. Some of the players that we're linked to, Onana from Everton, we're linked to Douglas Luiz from Aston Villa, we're linked to Paulinho from from um, 
from, uh, what do you call it, Fulham. We're also linked to some other players outside of the Premier League that I can't think of right now, like Zuba Mendy from, from Real Sociedad and some others. But the reality is we don't know who we're going to sign yet. If we can get an adequate replacement in and we get a decent bid for Thomas Partey, I'm thinking maybe what, what were we looking at last year? Maybe 35, something like that. Maybe we can do, get it done. But for me, I would move on for his own good and for our good. But hey, that's just me. Some people have said to me, you're not an Arsenal fan if you want Thomas Partey sold. Guess what? I support Arsenal Football Club. I don't support Thomas Partey FC. This is not a Thomas Partey agenda. It's strictly facts. When are we going to start saying these guys uh, These guys get injured too often are liabilities? Tommy Yasu injured a lot, potentially a liability. Jesus recently been injured a lot, potentially a liability. Emil Smith-Rowe injured a lot, liability. We have to talk about these guys. Kevin De Bruyne for Man City gets injured a lot, starting to get older. They need to get a younger player in there. So in the case when Kevin De Bruyne gets injured, they have somebody ready to go. We got Declan Rice. Thank God he's been available. Because if Declan Rice gets injured, who do we have? They can play similar to what he does. Nobody. So I'm not risking it. Thomas Partey, I love you. You've been amazing for us. You've done some great things for Tom, for Arsenal. But my man's got to go. He's got to go. I'm sorry. He's got to go, ladies and gentlemen. And if you guys think Thomas Partey staying at Arsenal Football Club will help us win the league this season, then let me know. If you think selling him in January would be a good idea, let me know. But for me, I would move him on as quick as possible and I'll get an adequate replacement in as quick as possible. And that is what I would do. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And yeah. By the way, if you guys don't think the replacements that we're looking at are good enough, all I have to say is you're never going to get a like-for-like like replacement for a player. You're never going to get an exact replacement for a player it's always going to be a little bit of an issue it's always going to be difficult but can we guarantee that Thomas Partey will give us 16 games at the end of the season to help us win the league can we guarantee that the player we bring in can give us those 16 games these are the questions we have to ask ourselves he's a unique kind of player you might not find the exact same type but you might find somebody else who can definitely do the similar job. I need to know what you guys think in the comment section. I'm going to I'm gonna tell you guys what I've, uh, I've already just told you guys what I think. If you want to keep him to the summer, I get it. If you want to sell him in the summer, I get it. If you want to keep him past this year, that just doesn't seem logical to me. So I want to know, would you want to keep him until the summer? Would you want to sell him in January? Or if you want to keep him past the summer and give him a new contract even, let me know. Because I think that is the most unlikely of options out of all of them. But yeah, leave you guys be. If you guys enjoyed these type of videos, let me know. I've been doing these videos a little bit more often. And you can leave a, you can check out my, my TikTok and my Twitter, of course. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Leave a comment down below. Make sure you've liked this video and we're out of here, people. Don't forget to, don't forget to smash the like on the way out.